What's the difference between a contrast and non-contrast MRI? In a previous video, I was talking about the different types of MRI we can have, whether it's different types of machines or the different applications for different uses for the body. But there's also a different variation we can have, which is with or without contrast. So whether contrast will be needed or not is going to be dictated by what's happening with your case and what the doctor is looking for when they're taking your MRI. And with contrast essentially means they're going to be using a contrast, a dye, when they're taking the MRI. The normal process when taking with a contrast is first it's going to be an MRI without contrast, then the person will take the contrast and they'll have that MRI with contrast so they compare the results between the two. Contrast is going to be used on an MRI to look for very specific types of problems. This is going to be things like tumors or growth such as cancer. This could be due to abscesses, it could be inflammatory issues such as conditions like multiple sclerosis. The reason why the MRI will be taken without contrast first compared to then with the contrast is to see the difference because certain types of problems in the body will show differently with the contrast and it's much easier then to see them by comparing those two. As it sounds, an MRI without contrast is just not going to be using that contrast dye and this is still a very detailed, comprehensive, excellent way of looking at the soft tissues in the body. When looking for a specific problem in the body or when someone's just doing more of a general scan, a contrast dye may actually not be recommended straight away, but if they find something on the initial without contrast dye uh, MRI, that's when they may say they want to send for another MRI with contrast to do a further investigation. So the benefits of looking at an MRI of the body with contrast is going to be that it's going to show a more detailed examination of what exactly is happening in the body and it's going to be more comprehensive than without contrast. However, if the person does not indicate that they may have some sort of pathology that would need a contrast MRI and the initial without contrast MRI comes back pretty clear, it would not then be needed for them to send for this additional type of MRI. The dyes used for contrast MRIs are typically something like gadolinium. This is something which is non-toxic, it's extremely safe. However, there are some cases where it may not be warranted, such as if a patient is pregnant or if they have certain allergies towards the chemical. So while both with and without contrast MRIs are extremely detailed, with contrast sometimes can be helpful for very specific types of problems in the body. Again, things like gross or like certain types of inflammation. However, your doctor should advise if it is needed or if it may possibly need it after taking your initial MRI and they should guide you about what the possible risks are. If say you do have maybe pregnancy or if you have a kidney issue or maybe you have a potential allergy as well as why they were taking this and what some of the reasons behind it would be. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments or follow for more information like this.